Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this rose gold look. I really like the way that it turned out. Um, it's a very, it's kind of like, more like an everyday look if you want to be that extra. <laughs> I don't know. I use the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. I've used it before in a couple of videos and the shades are still absolutely stunning. Um, yeah. Um, what else? to you guys. Other than if you have not already, please click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and click the little bell here too. <laughs> Show this video some love if you want to see any other videos that no one else has done. And yeah, if you guys want to stop listening to me rumble, mumble, all that good stuff, then let's just go ahead and get started. To start with this look, I'm going to go in with the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer, hydrating and pore minimizing like so. And just put that all over. So yeah, I'm going to be doing, I hope these like filming setups aren't freaking you guys out. I just don't have a proper place to film right now. But I like right here better, because it works for me. Okay, for foundation, I'm going to be using two. Super excessive, but I kind of want to keep it light, but still full coverage, if you guys get what I'm saying. So I'm going to be using the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Hydrating Foundation, and then the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So, I've never used these two together. So let's just like fingers crossed it. It looks kind of decent. And this is what the Wet n Wild dispenser kind of looks like, and it's kind of cool. I just put that all over my face. I'm the only one that uses this, so yeah. my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to divvy all of that up. good job of covering up my breakouts that I've gotten going on. Hopefully this lasts on my nose because every time I use foundation it just like comes off my nose. It's my oily skin right there. For under my eyes I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer but first I'm going to go and color correct with the pink one just because I kind of want to brighten up the inner corners of my eyes. my regular concealer. I set my eyes and all that good stuff. I'm going to pop on the next Born to Glow Liquid Illuminate, Illum, Illuminator and Gleam. I'm just going to put that on my cheekbones. Then 
And then to set my under eyes and all that good stuff, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the Banana Shade. One thing I don't like about this stuff is it's still in like this kind of dispenser, which I mean it doesn't bother some people, but it bothers me because I like to put stuff in a cap, and this cap is very tiny, so yeah, that's why I don't really like it. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. I love this stuff. I'm always going to use it. But I have been wanting to try another one, the Cap on D one. I'm not really sure how that one is, though. in for the eyes just because I like the way that it looked before so yeah okay for the eyes I'm going to be using the reason a morphine Kathleen lights palette it's actually a very beautiful palette so yeah to start off I'm gonna go in with this shade right here pop that into my crease and use that as my transition shade And to deepen that up just a little, I'm going to go in with this mustard yellow shade right here. Hmm. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here and put that onto my outer V. And then, ugh. as I'm using it, I'm going to flick it into my inner corner. I'm going to take that same Morphe brush that I used earlier and just kind of kind of blend stuff out up top. And I think now I kind of want... I'm going to use this pretty shade right here. If you can even see that. I'm going to pop that onto like the inner to the middle part of my lid. To try to just try and deepen it up a little, I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna go in with that same shimmer shade. And then for my lower lash line, actually, no, I am going to pop on some mascara. And try something else out too. So I'll be right back. So I baked myself out too. I'm going to go ahead and fill my eyebrows. Should have did that off camera too. I don't know why. But you know, force of habit. I'm using the NYX eyebrow powder pencil in the shade taupe.
done with the dullest eyebrow pencil in the world. Quite possibly. I'm going to set those down with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Brunette. do with my lower lash line. I might just basically use the colors that I used on my lid. So yeah, I'm just going to use all the colors that I used on my lid and use those on my lower lash line. Don't mess this up. You move, move, move. Mm hmm. to another family member. Ugh. Say hi. Say hi. You want to be in my video, right? Say hi. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what you get. She's a little different. All right, let me go ahead and finish up the face. I'm going to bronze up my cheek area with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. extra bronzing. I'm going to use the Too Faced Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer. Just need a little extra shimmer. And then for actual blush, I'm going to use the Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. I need another blush because I always use this one. Excuse you, I'm filming. And then I'm going to blend that out with a stippling brush. Cats are so weird. And then for highlighter, I'm going to... I'm going to take the Smashbox and Casey Holmes collab, the gold one, like this. I'm going to take, turn it on gold, this one right here, and pop that onto my cheekbones. Oh, for lips, I'm either going to use the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Beeper, which I use all the time in the beginning of my videos, or the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. Don't know. But first, I'm going to set my face. And while that's still a little damp, I'm going to go into the shade Glow of Fuse Gold. It's an extra little ping. I think I'm going to use the shade Beeper. It's because that was like my ride or die for a long time before I started using the Kat Von D Bone Arrow. So 
yeah, we're gonna use beeper today. I don't know, probably somewhere along the night, during the night, I'll probably change it to bow and arrow just because that's such a good nude. It's a good ashy nude and I love it. <laughs> Ooh, did that, did this, did that. Ooh, I'm not done. Um, for my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna keep it into the Smashbox palette and I'm gonna put Blow Fuse Gold on my inner corner in my eye wrap them. That concludes this look. I hope you guys like watching this rose gold eye tutorial that I got going on here. I really like the way that it turned out. I've never done a rose gold look ever. I don't know, I kind of got inspired by this tart rose gold clay pot that I didn't even use. It's a really pretty rose gold. I haven't used it yet. I might use it soon. I need to. Um, so yeah. I guess that concludes this video. So until next time, bye guys.